We continue the discussion in our Mishnah, and which brought to the part of the Mishnah that discusses how do you get rid of how do you get rid of chametz on Pesach? Rav Yudha says you have to burn out the chametz that you scatter in the wind. So we first begin that where does Rav Yudha know is din? Rav Yudha is going to have three potential kavuchaymers, and the chachamim are going to respond to each and every one, and as well the chachamim are going to have a response that even if you write your Yudha that you have to burn it, but it can end up with a kula that if you can't burn it, someone's not going to end up burning themselves of chametz. Then we're going to go into the opinion of the chachamim that you have to, you can even scatter in the wind or in the ocean. Do you always have to crumble it before you scatter it or is that only when you do it in the wind? We're going to begin a new Mishnah which is Gosses Chamet Shavu Lava Pesach, the Rav Agai is Mutter, of Yisrael is Aser. We're going to have three opinions, Rav Yisei Gnidi, Rav Yudin, Rav Shimin. None of them are going to fit with the Mishnah. Then we're going to discuss Machlekes Rav Yudin, Rav Shimin, when chametz is also in Arab Pesach, as if in the sixth hour, the time of the Shechita of the Garmin Pesach, or is it at night, the time of the eating of the Matzah? So we begin on Chavzayin and Mabez, that the Gemara says, the Revita says you have to burn the Chametz. Where does Revita learn that out from? The first attempt says the Revita is nicer. Nicer, you're not over and Bal Yerav, Bal Yimatzi, and you have to burn it. Chametz, which you are over, you shouldn't have to, you should for sure have to burn. The Chametz response, which will always stand, it says the Chachamim, you can never say a Kavu Chaymer that can end up with a Kula. And here it can end with a Kula, because if you don't end up having to burn it, what are you going to do? You're going to end up doing nothing. And therefore, it says the Chachamim, any way to get rid of it, you do not have to specifically burn it. Rav Yudah tries two more Kabbal Chaymers. First, Rav Yudah goes back to Nicer. Nicer is also Bechila, and you have to burn it. Chamez, you also Bechila, you have to burn it. Says the Chamez, what about Nevela? Nevela, you can't eat it, and you don't have to burn it. So Yudah says, no. Nicer is also Bechila and Hana. So too, Chamez. The Chamez say, what about Shara Niskel? It's also Bechila and Hana, you don't have to burn it. Rav Yudah says, no. Nicer is also Bechila, also Bechila, and you get Karis. So you have to burn it. So too, by Chamez, the Chamez responds to the Chilva of the Shara Niskel, has those three components, and yet you still do not have to burn it. We move along to Chav Chavches, and Rav Yudha says, okay, let's try again. Nicer is the din of Balta Siru. It's called Nicer, we leave it over. Chamed similarly is Balta Siru, Bal Yura, Bal Yamate, so you should have to burn it. The Chamed say, but what about the Asham Tali, Chatas Haif, Habala Safik, which you, Rav Yudha, yourself hold, you don't have to burn it. You could bury it. And in that final Taina that Rav Yudha folds, and he says, you're right, I myself hold that you could bury it. From my own response, I'm going to be destroyed. And the Gemara brings a bunch of analogies proving this. The arrow maker is destroyed by his own arrows. The shackle maker is chained up with his own shackles. We continue in the Mishnah, the Chamim say you, you could scatter it in the wind. The question is, when you scatter it in the wind, you scatter it in the sea, do you have to crumble it in both cases? Or only in the wind do you crumble it, but in the sea you do not have to crumble it. We try to bring a riot from Vodizara, and Rabbi says that it's Mistaver that Vodizara that you go into the Yama Melech. That's the reason why you do not have to grind it up. But Chametz, which you go into any other ocean, you have to, yes, grind it up. And Rav Yisab said, no, the exact opposite. Chametz, what happens when you throw Chametz in the ocean? It gets disgusting. So you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to crush it up. But if I desire, it's not getting disgusting in the ocean. And therefore, maybe you'd have to grind it up. And the Gemara brings proofs to both opinions of Rabbah and Rav Yisab. We begin the new Mishnah that discusses Chametz Shavu Lava Pesach of a guy's mother of Yisrael is going to be Aser. The Gemara says this is not conform with the opinions of Rav Yudah, Rav Shimon, or Rav Yisek Lili. Rav Yudah holds that Chametz is also before Pesach, after Pesach, and on Pesach. Just on Pesach, not only is there love, there's also Karis. As we move along to Dav Chav we see the opinion of Rav Shimon. The Rav Shimon holds that Chametz is only Aser before Pesach and after Pesach. I'm sorry, Chametz is mutter before Pesach and after Pesach. And it's Aser on Pesach. Rav Lili holds that it's mutter even on Pesach. The Gemara says, when is Chametz Aser? Rav Yudah says, from the sixth hour, from the time of the Shechita. As we learn, Allah, the time that you're Shechting is the same time that you're Aser and eating Chametz, the sixth hour on Erev Pesach. Rav Shimon says, no, for the fact that the Torah put the Apostle next to the Apostle of Matzah, teaches us that at the time that you have to eat Matzah, that's the time that you cannot eat Chametz anymore. The Gemara then continues, and within this Kavah Chaimah brings down the opinion of Yisek Lili, which teaches us that on the year they went out of Yitzrayim, there's only an of Chametz of one day. But we conclude with the Gemara saying, what is how does Rav Yudha answer Rav Shimon? It's a good question. The Torah put the not eating of chametz together with the eating of matzah. So the Isra shall only apply at night. On that, Rav Yudha says, no. You know why the Torah put them together to teach you that not only was there a chi of tea matzah, when there was a chiv ti karma pesach, but there's a chiv ti matzah even bizman azam. We know that from the fact that there's always an iser to not have chametz and to put together with that the chiv of eating matzah. That's where the Torah put the two of them.